Ooh, a bittersweet. Oh my. How much is it? Michael, did he see anything? I can't believe it's been so long since we've been here. Ooh, look at that. I like that. It kind of has like an Art Nouveau look. Oh, chip on the base. It's pretty. What else is there? Sit on that chair. <laughs> I love Lucy. Did you see anything? <gasps> Look at Michael. Ooh, a bittersweet. Oh my. How much is it? 25? Yeah, I think 25% off. Oh, ooh, getting this. Yes, I never found one. <laughs> I'm so excited. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put that down here. Let's take a peek at that. Five. It's not a bad price. That looks like um Jordan Imports. I was gonna get this, but it's missing. Oh, it's missing a stone. stone. Two stones. It looks vintage. Look at the cutie baby. Twelve on the frogs. I love that. Fifteen. <sighs> Those are awesome. This one looks like um, Czechoslovakia. 25, it actually doesn't sell for too much, unfortunately. Oh, look how cute. It's a planter. Uh, with a crack or a defect? I think that's just a defect. I'll put that back. All right, ooh, look at. Oh, wow. Michael, look at this swung vase. It's a slag glass. Oh, that's nice. It's 20. I have never seen the slag glass one. I might do that. I mean, it is, it is smaller. But the fact that it's slag and it's red and orange. I, might, I know, I've never seen that before. I might do it. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> what is that? Is that just to hang, hang stuff on? Look at all your the detail. Hat, your coat, your um, shawl, and then you store your shoes in there. You'll have a Roseville um, umbrella holder mm -hmm. on the side. Yep. <laughs> what about this bird? Ashtray, ten dollars as is. Art, artware. Hmm. Oh, J and M. Oh, F and M. All right, this one is twenty five percent off. Twenty five dollars. Hmm. Twenty five percent off. Oh my gosh, Fenton. Fifteen. Is that Fenton? I believe so. 15, 25% off. Oh, Mount Washington. That's what it looks like. Oh, look at these birds. Little ding ding there. Oh, it's Stingle. A ding ding. <laughs> this is different. A 20, they say it's Fenton. Hmm. I don't know about that. I do like the orange though. It's not a bad price, 20. Hey, here's a, oh, I was gonna say Millifiori, it's cracked. A little trinket dish, we had a Millifiori one. That's an ashtray actually. All right, cats, 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 cats. Where are you cats? <laughs> Let's take a look at her. That is six dollars. Let me look at her arms. Um, I wonder if that's worth 
I don't think that's worth too much more, but let's take a look at that pottery. 1930s, it's only 18. $18, almost looks like um, the Zansville Pottery or McCoy, Old McCoy. Gotta think about that. I'm probably gonna get it though for 18. I feel like I could get like 50 or 60. Here's a metal cat. Art Deco 1929 for 15. I mean, it's not cast iron or anything. It is signed. Oh, 1929. 15. I don't know if that's cute enough to be a cat. He looks scared. Hmm. Hey, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I found at Salvation Army. <laughs> I think it is has to be 25 let's go over here Ooh, the moon and star canister how much is that 38 never seen a canister before it's nice to touch Ooh, look at um that's vaseline glass the uh, daisy and button 35 and 16. Oh, it's missing the lid. Hmm. Oh, here's a panther. It's a panther planter <laughs> for 28. And that's Hall. H A L L for 28. Hmm. All right, this booth is having 20% off. Ooh, a Ori. 150. Made in Italy. Um, I don't know about that. It's cloudy. The base is cloudy and, I mean, the quality is there. The base is throwing me off. There's some um, stretch glass for 40. Now look at this picture. Whoops. Oh, I thought maybe it was a Franciscan desert rose. It's just a hobbyist. Oh, that one's not bad. bow. The earrings are nice. Um, 35. Hey. $10 for the pair. <laughs> 10. Oh, here's a cat. Catnip. How much are you? 35. Oh, look at the Victorian shoes. Those are so weird. That literally just scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Thought it was you sitting there at first. <laughs> Some Roseville. I don't know, that's a little bit off. Oh, it is Roseville. Cracked handle. Hey, it is move-in day. There's Michael. <laughs> um, as you can see, we have the record player. The bowling ball we already started setting up um we didn't bring too too much because we still have to empty our case out the west germany i love this i'm surprised this hasn't sold on ebay we have that for 120 we might lower that that's earthworks but i love that and then the ceramic sunflower jar i just found that the silversmith 32 and we're putting the cookie jars there's the horse lamp. Okay, so now we're taking everything out of the case, putting it on here. Um, so 
it's just a short distance. <laughs> Don't break anything. <laughs> He's doing the happy dance. <laughs> uh, I can't believe this is only $20 more a month. All right. We had two big cases and then all the space. Mm -hmm. um, we tested this and it doesn't work. But someone is still going to buy it for the look. Um, some people reuse it as like storage. So I'll start filling the shelves. I think I'm going to put like all the pottery um, vases and whatnot up here. Right? Mm. And we can't put too too much heavy stuff either. Yeah. Um, this one. What about these? Should we color code it? Color code it. <laughs> Organize it by color. I don't know about those. Nobody wants them. I think we even were... you think they were hiding? Yeah. Okay. I think. Let's put the uh, Green boat yeah. TV bomb um, that came out it has to be glued back in right there. I kind of want that on the top shelf though. Can't really see it. I guess so. So we added all of the kitchen stuff here the um, red wing cookie jars, the salt and pepper shakers, mugs, and then the child's children's stuff down here, except that it's the Wedgwood. Yeah, we put those on the bottom. All the African wood, pottery. We still have more. <laughs> we still have more in the case that we gotta take out. So get to work. We emptied the rest of the stuff out of the case. Michael's twerking on the floor. <laughs> Gosh, there's a yoga frog. Got that at Goodwill. Fenton is still here. I put the watermelons in the basket. Um, how much did I have in the watermelons? I have 18 for the three. I think it's a good price. Only paid a dollar. I think a dollar each at... Um, the habitat store. All right. Forgot the pens. <laughs> you got it? Yep. All right, so we added the cross stitch floral plaques. Oops. <laughs> um, and the beer sign. It took me a little while to find the hooks, but I found it. We put the spike um, ball on the floor because we don't have any more furniture. So we're going to have to keep our eye out for some of the um, some more furniture. We have a tooled up art glass vase. It's more modern, but I did it for 32. I think that's about right. And the milk glass. I'm still confused about this milk glass stretch. Not sure who made it. So maybe I'll just do 32 on that also. How much? 32. I think that should go back there. We have like a theme, pink and blue. Mm -hmm. This is a Kanawa basket with the original sticker. How much is that? I did 26 on that. I think that's a fair price. And we have the milk glass. It's coming along in Poli. I did 18 on that. I think that's a fair price. Do 275 on us. Not working. Um, as is, she's set to write. Yeah, 275 as is. Yeah, someone will just use this as a decorative piece. The Capitol phonographs, tri speakers. <laughs> um, maybe wrap it around here. Because I don't want to put tape on it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Mm, it's just going to fall on the floor. Put it around here. You think? Yeah, that works. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to come along. 
Okay, I think that's it. So everybody come stop by the Kaksaki Antique Center. Um, Alrighty, I'm going to show everybody some cat items that we got for the Whatnot sale that's coming up June 30th. Um, so make sure you go to Whatnot. And we have a link in the description to get $10 off. Um, you just have to click the link and it'll bring you to Whatnot. So we're doing... Um, where can I start? I'm going to start here. What's right in front of me is the Cat Rinconadas. These are extremely popular right now. So we have a darker one, lighter one, a teenager, and two babies. Wait, I think there's one more. No, there's not. Oh, we sold that one with Avon, on Avon sale. And then we got this white um, porcelain cat. Look at the, the mom is um, carrying the baby in his mouth. <laughs> Um, it has some glue on the bottom. This is this will probably be like a a three dollar buy it now four dollars. Um, and this we got at an antique mall, actually our antique mall, the Kasaki. Um, this is made by Westmoreland. I'm not sure if this one was supposed to be painted or not. I know the milk glass is. Um, now the whole reason I got this one is because of the color. It's almost like a jadeite color. At first, when I saw, I thought it was the uh, um, the clam the clam broth color. Which, um, when I looked it up, it was supposed to be more of a whitish gray color. This is more of a green. So I can't wait to put this on there. I'm going to be listing all of this. Um, you could pre bid if you would like. Just make sure you sign up for that ten dollars off first. I want you guys to save some money. Um, and we have this table runner. Look at this cat. Look, it's a mid-century modern alley cat. Just sitting in the flowers. There are some stains. A little bit of stains there, but if you know how to get them out, it should be able to come out. So there's a cat on each side. I thought that was an awesome find. Most of this we got online or at Antique Mall. Um, let me move these quick. So we have this cutie. Look at the cute cat playing with a basketball. This is made in Japan. A lot of detail on it. All the paint. Look at the little butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's one I almost kept. But I can't. I say that in every video. <laughs> um, let's do this cat. Another, I always call it an alley cat because it reminds me of the Fenton alley cat. This is just a ceramic hand painted. Um, it's probably made to look like made in Mexico. Almost kind of like a Talavera. Um, but I like the design of it, so I picked it up and I think the um people on whatnot will like it also. And I got these. Actually, I got these from one of our viewers on whatnot. Um I can't remember how much I paid, but I'll be reselling those. Then I got this. Um, this is actually chalkware. I just realized that. Is that chalkware? No, I think it's a ceramic. But it looks like chalkware. Okay, never mind. But I got this at an antique mall. I think I paid $8. Um, look at the mouth. I love the mouth on that. It's wearing lipstick and yellow eyeshadow. A little bit of chip on chipping. Which is okay if it's um if someone collects this. This is a bank. And the hole is plugged up. Next is this pink um glass shoe. I'm not sure if this was made by Fenton. I know there's other companies that made it, but this looks like it would be Fenton. I could just tell by the quality. Um, but we got that. As you all know, I think we paid $6 for that. The shoes, you can't really get too, too much more. It all depends on the maker and the color. Now, the pink is a little bit different from what I usually see. I usually see the amber or blue. If you ever see the Vaseline or uranium... That I would definitely pick up. Alright, and then 
We got some Stife. Stife cat supposed to be playing on its side. You know how cats, when they start to play, they like fall on their side and they start playing. <laughs> but we got that. It has, it's in new, brand new condition. Um, there's supposed to be an extra tag, I think a price tag. So it's not brand, brand new. But there it is, made in Germany. The original tag. Cute little face. Okay, well, I think that is it for tonight. I don't have any more cat items, so we're going to keep searching. Remember to go in the description and click on the link or copy and paste to get your $10 off. And check out our whatnot and what we have listed. Um, and you could pre-bid if you would like. I'm also having a sale next Thursday at 9 o'clock. Um, I think I'm going to be doing it by myself, but I'm okay with that. All right, that is it for now, and I'll see everybody next time. Bye!